The year is now 2200. Waylon Utani's loyal security officer, Gabriel Cruz, has just retired after dedicating most of his life to the corporation's Epsilon Station and its research on the mysterious Alpha. But when his son, Danny, breaks into Epsilon Station with an anti Waylon Utani organization led by his girlfriend, Iris, Gabe is granted the chance to rescue his son, so as long as he retrieves his xenomorph sample and before the station is destroyed as a failsafe protocol. Gabe first finds Iris and Bishop on the ship, but by the time they find Danny, a facehugger has already gotten to him. Danny's only chance at survival is a hypersleep tube in the executive quarters, but it means evading multiple xenomorphs and the deadly alpha, drawn by a connection to the embryo inside himself. The team barely makes it to the executive quarters, only to find the hypersleep tube destroyed. In that moment, Gabe decides to save his son over the embryo, but Iris shoots both him and Bishop down before they could cut the specimen out of Danny. Wagner 1, this is Bairdy 2. Respond, Wagner 1. What's the code, Bairdy 2? Code is 17 gamma 57 kilo 23 delta. The mission was successful. We have what we came for. I have the package in a double class executive life raft. Have the decoys ready. Company and UA will be all over us. What's the status of the sample? In utero. We should have about eight hours, but assume less to be safe. Is the host one of yours? What does it matter? Only the sample matters. And it's ours now. Old breach detected. Old breach detected. What's that? We just had an explosion up here. It's probably just the alarms glitching out. Heat shields, propulsions, and life support are all reading green. Just a... 32? 32? Iris? Gabriel, can you hear me? Bishop? Bishop models can't kill people. How did you... It was instinct, Gabriel. I was surprised as you. Although, it's starting to make a lot more sense. This is... It doesn't. You were with Danny. He he had to have known you were. You think all synthetics are automaton slaves? I'm more than human, not less. Physically indistinguishable. A free synthetic. I don't expect either of you to know what that means. Iris, why did you do this? You love Danny. I've seen it. Danny came up here to make a difference, and now he will. Thanks to him, my people will make Earth a post-organic utopia. I pity you so much, Bishop. I wish you could see what a sad little puppet you are, just dancing on their strings forever. You should have been like us. You should have been beautiful. Goodbye, Iris. Wait, there's something I want to say to you, Cruz, about the woman in the dark. How do you know about... We know a lot that you don't. You still don't understand what she is, do you? Humans weren't the first organics to leave the solar system, Cruz. There have been so many others in this galaxy alone, and they're all gone now. Do you know why? No. When organic species grow arrogant enough to travel the stars, they find it waiting. Prometheus is cleansing fire, the fire that keeps the universe clean of parasites like you. It's always the same after that. First, you tried to harness the fire as a weapon, like all the ones before you have done. Next, you'll try to join with it, use it to make yourselves better, stronger. That's what the Hive showed you in the dark, group. She's your own future. The inevitable end result of the deadly little thing that you brought back inside you. The thing we'll eventually use to kill you all. Always remember that it was you, Cruz. Okay? Of all of goddamn humanity's countless billions, you found Prometheus's fire, and you carried it home. Remember that when your world burns down. Bishop, we gotta get that thing out of Danny before it gets any bigger. You're badly hurt, Gabriel. I need to get you patched up. The med kits are well stocked. You'll have to improvise a little, but I'm sorry, Gabriel. His chances just aren't good. We should focus on getting you stabilized. Your core directives won't allow you to let a person die. You <coughs> you have to help me. This is different, Gabriel. We're as likely to kill Danny as save him. He's all I have, Bishop. I'm asking you to save him, like you saved me. I'll try. I'm afraid not, gentlemen. Ted. Gabe, that fetus is the priority of Whaley Newtani Corporation. Stand down. It's Danny, Ted. You've known him your whole life. Been watching your progress, Gabe. You know the embryo won't survive this early of an extraction. Yeah, and without a hypersleep tube, Danny's dead. 
Are you really asking what I think you're- No, I'm not. I'm not asking at all. If you try to remove that fetus, we'll remote lock your pod to Epsilon Station and initiate its fall out of orbit. You and Danny will burn to a cinder along with everything else up there. Or, you can leave Danny as he is, and a nice little payout, full immunity, and the undying gratitude of the company. I can even get you back in if you still want. What'll it be? Bishop and I can manually disable the remote locks and get this thing home by ourselves. And we both know the UA will give anything to learn what I know about the company. Least of all, full immunity for any crimes Danny and I have committed. So you can take your threats and shove them up your ass. Before I sign off, though, there's something I want you to know. That big mission 20 years ago, the one that started everything, you called in sick that day. Did you know what was waiting for us out there? Goodbye, gay. Director Reynolds has disabled the station's engines. We're about to fall out of orbit. Engines offline. Engines offline. We can still do this. Engines I'll separate the ref from the station manually. It's all for nothing if Danny dies, Bishop. I'm begging you. Save him. I'll do everything I can. I know. You always do. Can you hear me, Gabriel? Roger that. The boots you're wearing are magnetic. You won't be moving around quickly, but you won't float away either. Understood. I'm outside the station. You're looking for two large yellow and black striped panels on the life raft's hull. Those are the air tanks that feed the docking mechanisms. I see the first one. When you open it, you should see an air tank with a pressure gauge and an air line running from the tank. Carefully separate the line from the air tank. It's under very high pressure. Got it. If it ruptures... Got it, Bishop. <coughs> first line is separated. Great. One more. Then you're done out there. How's it going with Danny? Heat shields are ready for re-entry. Danny's strapped down and sedated. After we re-enter the atmosphere, we'll be ready to begin. You'll want to hurry, Gabriel. It won't be long before we hit the atmosphere. Hull breach detected. Hull breach detected. Gabriel, we have a serious problem. Hull breach detected. Why? What's happening? Oh, Hull God. Hull breach detected. Something's out there with you. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Shit. Iris was right. We do this to ourselves. We begin re-entry in minutes, Gabriel. You'll incinerate if you're- I know, damn it! The alien isn't the monster. It just does what it does. Just an animal protecting its young. I can't hate it for that. But Danny's my son, too. And I already gave up the son so this thing could live. Uh! I won't do it again. I'd see her again at the end. The one in the dark. But I don't. I see an old family photo I haven't seen in years. Lucas, Danny, their mom, all looking happy and beautiful. It makes it all worth it, seeing them one last time like they were their whole lives ahead of them. In a world without monsters. Jesus, what is... Who are you? Where's Iris? Don't try to move. You've been through surgery. You've lost a lot of blood and you're still pretty sedated. Surgery? Where's Iris? We've just re-entered UA airspace. We should be on the ground again in a couple of hours. I'll tell you everything soon. You're that synth that saved Dad once. That was another bishop unit. But yes, he was a lot like me. In my dreams... Dad was there. I think we were in trouble or something. Was that real? Yes, Gabriel saved us this time. If I may ask, Danny, what else did you see in your dreams? I'm already starting to forget it. I just remember the smell, this horrible, ungodly stink in the deepest dark I've ever seen. There was something in the dark, I think, something looking for me, something far, far away.